Good day, everyone. Got a little binding here I'm going to work on. I'm first going to make this little quilter's knot. I've got my thread parallel to the needle. I'm going to wrap it around now three or four times. I'm going to slide that between my forefinger and thumb and then pull this all the way down to the end, hanging on to the knot. I don't think you can see it, but there's a little tiny knot right there at the end. I'm going to cut off this excess thread. Okay, then, hopefully without turning this into a gigantic knot, <clears throat> I'm going to start under here and I want to bury my knot. I'm going to go underneath my binding so this is hidden and go through the batting and the backing and right up here to where I stopped before. And I am going to try to take a little tiny bit, just a thread or so, of that binding. I'm going to pull this through, making sure it doesn't knot. And you can see the little tail right here. I'm just going to give this a tug. And then it's slipped right under and it's completely hidden. Now I'm going to keep going on my stitching this binding down. I like to keep my thread up and out of the way. So this is going up there. I'm going to go just right where that thread came up through here, but again, underneath the binding edge, so this is hidden, and try to come up right through the edge of the binding, and just a thread or two will do it. So again, I'm just keeping my finger out here so this doesn't knot up. And I throw my thread back up there. Go right at the thread underneath the edge of the binding. And this, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch, somewhere in there. I'm trying to come up right at where the seam fold is, or the binding fold, I should say. Sorry about all the machinations here. Got the camera precariously perched right next to me and I'm afraid I'm going to hit it. <clears throat> so right under there. So one thing you'll see is I'm not using a thimble. Mostly that's because when I put a thimble on one finger, I start using a different finger, like, like the uh, finger I put the thimble on is wounded or something. And I couldn't find the other tool that I normally use, which is just called a thimble it. It's a oh polypropylene or heavy duty softer plastic and it usually runs over your finger and you can push similar to a thimble without that constricted feeling. So I'm going right at the thread underneath and trying to come out right in that fold. <clears throat> Let me hold this up. I'm not pulling that hard on the um, thread when it's done. But what I'm showing so if you can see, you can see underneath where my stitches are, but when this is laying flat, the stitches are really hidden. Um, okay, so now I am going to bury my last stitch here because I don't want to do a ton and bore you to death. 
So this is, I just do a little, like a little stay overhand knot first. Okay. Then I'm going to do very similar to what I did before. And um, this one's harder because I want to get this knot, if I can, as close to the binding edge as possible here. And I failed, but that's okay because we're going to do a very similar thing as we did in the beginning. And bury this thread up to the knot and that will keep it from coming out. So I want to go back behind my binding through the batting and I'm going to go up quite a ways really right here so when it it stops right there and that's where my knot is but again I'm going to give this a tug and that should pull the rest of that through and I just trim it right there have a good day everyone <laughs>